This is our home. It bestows upon us the elements that help to create, sustain and protect life. With the present developmental trends and climate changes putting tremendous pressure on our natural resources, especially our forests, the need to produce more with less is imperative. The goal for increasing forest productivity and wood security necessitates a robust forestry research base. Envisioning forests for the future. The Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India, is spearheading the strategy actions through Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education, or ICFRE, as its apex organization to promote and undertake need-based forestry research, extension and education. The Council is autonomous and functions with nine research institutions and five research centers spread across India for providing scientific solutions to forestry-related critical issues. This is the story of the Institute of Forest Genetics and Tree Breeding, in short, IFGTB, as it unravels the institution's journey in forestry research and recounts its salient scientific interventions. Formed in April 1988, IFGTB is one of the nine institutes of ICFRE aptly located in Coimbatore. It caters to the forestry research requirements of the mandated states of Tamil Nadu and Kerala and the Union Territories of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Puducherry and Lakshadweep. The vision and mission of ICFRE, in tandem with the National Forestry Research Plan, drive the research strategy at the national and regional level. In its pursuit of achieving the mission, IFGTB focuses on the development of new varieties to maximize productivity of natural and planted forests through tree improvement programs along with conservation of forest genetic resources. Geared with nine major divisions, the institute works on thematic areas of forest research and extension supported with state-of-the-art research facilities. Systematic tree improvement programs to increase productivity has always been at the pinnacle of IFGTB's research plans. Seedling and clonal seed orchards of various tree species established by the Institute produce genetically improved seeds, much favored by the forest departments, forest development corporations, wood-based industries and farmers. Improved seeds of eucalyptus and cajorina assure 12 to 28 percent genetic gain against conventional seed sources. The Institute develops clonal material of commercial tree species and has released 19 clones of Kajorina and 11 clones of Eucalypts since 2010. Clones of IFGTB registered under Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act 2001 are licensed to industries and other agencies for mass multiplication. Nearly 7 crores of quality and improved planting material sourced from the Institute are raised by the licensees annually and are planted over an area of 26,000 hectares in southern India alone. These clones in large-scale plantations are 15 to 20 percent more productive than the available ones. The Institute has developed distinctness, uniformity and stability, in short, DUS. Testing guidelines for Kujorinas, Eucalypts, Melia and Teak and has been recognized as dust testing center for these trees. IFGTB maintains seven field research stations for conducting field trials. On-farm agroforestry trials of commercial species are also laid out to augment farm income. Windbreak clones of Kujorina developed for crop protection have gained wide popularity among banana farmers. The Sylvie Cultural Nursery, Model Nursery, Bamboo High Tech Nursery of the Institute produce quality planting materials of various tree crops and bamboo. The Institute has standardized protocols for tissue culture and mass propagation of teak, eucalyptus, acacias and bamboo. Forest genetic resources have great economic ecological and societal benefits. IFGTB carries out exploration, collection 
characterization and documentation of these resources to harness their potential. Besides ex situ conservation through field and seed gene banks, in situ conservation are also carried out. Geospatial technology is used for assessment and documentation of forest genetic resources as well as invasive species. Molecular characterization of species, provenances and clones of Cajorinas, Eucalyptus, Teak, Mahogany and Red Sanders using markers have been successfully carried out by the Institute. Genetic linkage maps in Eucalyptus using high throughput markers. Draft genome assemblies of Teak, Sandal and Ruttons are constructed by the Institute. Genetic engineering tools have been used to silence genes and enhance salt tolerance in eucalyptus. Species recovery research of rare and endangered trees is given due weightage while framing research activities. Seed handling techniques for many such species have been developed. Quality seeds of commercially important species are tested and supplied to farmers, state forest departments and industries. IFGTB undertakes extensive field surveys for identification of insect pests and disease of commercial tree species. A pest calendar and integrated methods of pest and disease management for tree health have been developed. IFGTB has developed bioproducts from forest resources. The biopesticides and biofertilizers produced are into product commercialization phase and so far IFGTB has secured three patents and a trademark to its credit. The institute also addresses eco-restoration of forests and rivers, soil organic carbon estimation and sequestration studies, biodiversity assessments and diversity studies of grasshoppers, butterflies and bees of the western Ghats, and Species recovery research in mangroves are carried out in various locations in South India and in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Institute's Botanical Garden has been recognized by the Botanic Gardens Conservation International UK and the Forest Campus is a walker's paradise in the heart of the city. The iconic Goss Forest Museum, the oldest in the country, established in 1902 and the Fisher Herbarium, established in 1911, are among the Institute's pride possessions. They preserve old and rare specimens of flora and fauna and serve as a repository of natural history for nature enthusiasts. IFGTB's Lab to Land Extension programs are in tandem with ICFRE's Vision 2030. The nature education programs offered under Prakriti for students the Tree Growers Melas for stakeholders and farmers garner enthusiastic participation. Vanavigyan Kendras of the Institute facilitate information dissemination, programs and exhibition on tree cultivation to wider audience. Client-oriented training programs, green skill development programs and refresher courses are conducted on regular basis for several stakeholders, state forest departments and other government agencies. In line with Digital India Initiative, IFGTB Environmental Information System, ENVIS, has released mobile applications on pests and diseases for the tree growers. Cycus, a mobile application for Casuarina yield assessment, and Arbor Easy, a DNA isolation kit, have also been developed. The kit was used by students in India International Science Festival, held at Lucknow in 2018 to create the Guinness World Record for DNA isolation. IFGTB collaborates with international, national and regional agencies on identified research problems. Considering the Institute's competence in forestry research, the Ministry of Environment, Forests and Climate Change has recognized the Institute as a scientific authority for CITES on flora. National Repository under Biodiversity Act a nodal center for forest genetic resource management and as an ENVIS center for FGR and tree improvement. IFGTB has also been ranked the best forestry research institute through an independent evaluation by ICFRE. For over three decades, IFGTB has been instrumental in helping farmers and industries grow high-yielding trees for commercial purposes. The timely interventions of IFGTB 
have accelerated efforts towards becoming a wood secure nation and achieving goals of the national forest policy. Team IFGTB stands committed to realize the vision of ICFRE and Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change to achieve India's priorities in forestry research. Our journey continues preparing for the coming decade, a decade promising bigger challenges and even bigger dreams. To protect and nurture our home, our only home.